Hey guys, um, so the other day my family and I thought we'd try some turkey bacon. And I can describe it in one word. Yuck. None of us liked it. <laughs> so I thought, what am I going to do with this other pack? Sorry guys, I have gloves on because I don't like touching raw meat. So I thought, what am I going to do with this other package of bacon? So I started reading the fat on these and what's in them and all that. And I thought, why don't I try to de dehydrate these for my boys? So I'm going to open these up and stick them in my dehydrator, which my other dehydrator broke. I was so upset because it had eight trays. I found this one at a thrift store for $3. It's by Oster. And I believe it's supposed to have four trays, but this one only has three. Maybe they broke the other one. It don't even look like it's been used. Um, so I'm going to try this out for the first time, and I'm going to try dehydrating this turkey bacon for the first time and see how the boys like it. So let's open this up. Yes, I was so upset when my other one broke because... It had eight trays and you can make so much on it. I would have to move the trays around sometimes just so they got even um, time like on the bottom close to the heat and stuff. But I love that thing. I got that one at a thrift store too. Oh well, I knew another one. You wait long enough, you go to the thrift store enough, you'll find another one. Okay. Now it says these are 94% fat free, gluten free, um, cured turkey thighs, chopped and formed. Okay, I'm wondering if I should, I think I'm going to cut them in half. Let me cut these in half. Okay, so here's what it looks like. So I'm going to lay these like this. Yeah, we did not like the turkey bacon. Give us real bacon. I guess if we're going to sacrifice having some bad food for us, we'll keep our bacon. <laughs> Regular old bacon. Okay, let me get another tray. I'm wondering if these are going to turn... I don't know if I want to keep them kind of chewy, crispy, I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to keep an eye on the texture of them as they dehydrate. Because I've never done this before, so I don't know how long it's going to take, how they're going to turn out. I don't know any of that. Okay, I got five pieces left. So three trays was, three trays, uh, was perfect for this package of... Let me throw this away real quick and throw away my gloves. The boys are outside right now enjoying the nice day. Okay, I'm going to put my top on and turn that on. Be right back, guys. Okay, so that's on. It is almost 4 o'clock. Um, I will let you know. Ooh, sorry, my camera's on a little tripod thing. Um, I'll let you know um, how long it takes and show you the consistency I have them at and let you see how the dogs like them after. And I don't know if I showed you guys this in another video. I totally can't remember. But this is what I've been giving the boys for uh, dental treats. They're chewy and a porous texture. It's supposed to help really good with their back teeth. So I've been giving these to the boys. Um, and Mozzie, it has been, today's Thursday, so it's been a week and one day since he had his um, teeth removed. And yesterday I gave him his regular uh, kibble food, blue buffalo, the hard food, and he ate it just perfectly fine. No problems, um, ate it right down. So he's back on his kibble. He's not on the soft food anymore. He's doing great. 
I gave him, I have some of these um, little mini milk bones that I gave him um, last night when I put him in his crate to go to bed and he did just fine with those too. So I think I'm going to give him one of these today. So I'll take them outside and uh, show you what they look like. Like I said, I may have already shown you these. I just can't remember. Okay guys, let's give one of these. Uh, oh, these ones are bigger. I think last time I got them for a medium sized dog. I think I got these for large dogs. But I wanted them to have a bigger, bigger um, thing to chew on for the back teeth. Let's see what the fast. No, no, don't take that on my hand, you little stinker. No, no. Crude fat, 2%. So it's only 2% for one of these big, here it is in my hand. No. So it's about as big as my hand. <laughs> see. So I'm going to give it to him first. Let's see. Let's see how he does. And these boys are like, why are we not getting ours? Seems to be doing okay with it. Don't seem to be having any problems. Like I said, they're chewy. A chewy texture. So they're not real hard. Like, say, like a crunchy milk bone or something like that. So we don't seem to be having any problems. Okay, now you guys can have yours. Okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. They seem to like them, and they, um, uh, this is my second bag, and they haven't had any problems, like, having the runs or anything, or bad gas from them. They're, uh, made by Purina. They seem to like them. And they're a little more chewy, so they're not, so they're chewing on them a little bit longer, working their back teeth. Miggy's over there hiding in the pool. <laughs> so, yeah. So far, they worked pretty good. And I think Mozzie's enjoying being able to have a big treat like that again. That's his first time having one since his uh, extractions. So, tomorrow I have to take Max to get his rabies shot and uh, dog license. So he's got to go to the vet tomorrow. And... That's about it. So I will come back and show you how the turkey bacon turns out in the dehydrator when it's done. Okay guys, this has been going. Uh, it's almost 8 o'clock. We started this at 4. So this has been going almost 4 hours. So I'll turn this off. Yeah, let's see here. Here's what it looks like. Still kind of um, pliable. I do notice a lot of. Um, let me turn the camera around. Actually, I meant pick up the camera. But anyways, I can see um, like grease on it, like when you cook it. But it's pretty. Um, it's pretty dried out, but it still has the like pliableness, like it's going to be chewy. So I think I'm going to let these cool off. Ooh. Look at the grease on my hands. I think I'm gonna um might pat the grease off those after. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave them uh, the way they are, so they still have a little bit of chewiness to them. Now, the dogs are probably gonna love these because they love anything. <laughs> but um, do I think I would ever? make these again no i would do chicken um uh jerky or like a chicken uh jerky in here for them and, and when i say chicken jerky no seasonings no nothing just thin strips of chicken breasts in my dehydrator i would not do this again um it's really greasy i know there's not a lot of fat but uh, I wouldn't do this again. I'm only doing it because I had that package left and I knew we weren't going to eat it. So this will just be um, a little treat for these guys. <laughs> They're sitting here thinking, is this for us? You think everything's for you guys. So anyways, I just wanted to share this though, me doing it. And um, I'll get a quick video after these cool down and 
let you see these guys gobble them down because I know they're going to. I know you're gonna. Yes, you are. I know you're gonna. <laughs> so anyways, would I do this again? No. But I thought I'd share the process with you guys. You can do it. Um, I just don't think I would. Okay, guys. You had to eat the dinner first. Yeah. I put the um, turkey bacon in a Ziploc. I'm going to keep it in the fridge because it's not totally dried out. So I'm going to store it just like I would if I had cooked meat. So, okay, guys. Are you ready? Okay. Let's get over with Max, the little shark. Max, are you going to be nice today? Are you going to be nice? Let's see what he thinks of that. Okay, Marty. Namazi. Boy, Max, you're already big for seconds. I don't think so. That was fast, you little stinker. See how Mazi's doing. They're at least chewing it, Max. You must have inhaled it. Let's see, Marley. Marley, you're done too? They're taking their time at least. Jeez, boys. Jeez, Louise. Was it good? Why is he still gnawing on it? So there you go. Dehydrated turkey bacon. I won't make it again, but... Nice little snack uh, for the next week or so. Maybe one every other day till it's gone. Right? <laughs> Bye, guys.